Let the galaxy burn. Hi guys, I recently won a game on the ladder against C4 Carlo, the top rated player currently, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to demonstrate the game's new replay function. So let's take a look at that match. Here we go. So Z4 Carlo plays as Garo, and that's a very aggressive play style, and Mortarian is the cure. So what I'm going to do is just try to keep him stunned all along as much as possible. So my starting hand, it doesn't matter so much, because for the first one or two, for fact, for the first three turns, I'll just be stunning him. There we go, so he had the initiative, he began by attacking me, playing a unit, and attacking again. The unit he played was Koturg Bikes, which actually have this cool backlash ability where they do two, two additional points of damage when they die. So this is going to hurt, because all I'm doing is stunning him, doing no damage to him, and now his bikes will attack me, doing three points of damage, plus a bonus two points of damage, and that's five in total. And on top of that, uh, well actually no, that's it, because Garrett was stunned, so he can't attack anymore. Now he drops Zagart Squad, which uh, gets a buff for being the uh, only unit on his side. I can't do anything about it, I just have to make sure he stays stunned so he can't pull off crazy combo moves. There you go, now he drops another unit, and he, Garo could have acted again if he wasn't stunned. Alright, so Zagart Squad attacks, he still has 3 energy left, so he used the Mecha Dendrite that uh, Mechanicus unit generated to give Zagart Squad a shield. Which is not ideal because now Zagart Squad will ignore the first damage done to it. Alright, so I'm going to stun uh, Garrow again. And now what I have is a Blight Grenade, which will do 2 points of damage to a target. If it dies, it does 2 points of damage to another random target. If that dies, 2 points of damage to another random target. I would have preferred it if that hit the Zagart Squad because stripping its, steel, its uh, shield would have meant it would die the next time it attacked me, but... There we go. So four points of damage. He dropped a Solar Auxilia, which does one point of damage as it deploys. And he drops another guy. Alright. I've got five energy now, though, so I can use two energy to stun Garrow, and the remaining three energy to drop my own Zagard Squad and give me a little bit of defense. Unfortunately, it didn't quite pan out for me as I'd hoped. So he gave me some defense, but then it turned out that I was not the only person with a Blight Grenade. Dropped a Blight Grenade, he killed my guy, and then two more points of damage to me. Now, I was actually thinking he would attack with everything he's got and do seven points of damage, but now he started getting a little too cautious. He didn't attack with his Zagart squad, which gave me an opening over here to wipe his board out. Three points of damage to everything on his side, and three points of healing to me. With only a couple cards in his hand, I'm not at serious risk of a crazy combo. So there we go, he did a bonus stealth attack on me. And he's gonna drop another unit probably and attack. Yep, there we go, gold stones. So three more damage to me. And he's gonna attack me again. Ouch, look at that. Alright. But look how many cards I have in my hand versus his hand of just one card. So let's use Abandoned Supplies to draw a card and lower its cost by two. Oh, that's perfect first wave. So I can stun Garrow and get a ton of defenses up. Here we go, three Melden squads coming in. Nice. So he's got two cards in hand. Oh, it's a Zagar squad. Good thing I got those defenses up, right? Anyhow, in my next turn, I came up with a plan over here. So first, I would make sure Garrow stays stunned. Then, I would drop my Captain Yujioj. Or, you know, let me poison his guy. And then I'll drop my Captain Yujioj, who, uh, as long as he's on the board, every time a unit dies, I'll get healed for two points. So potentially, I was looking at a ton of healing over here. But, he dropped a Solar Auxilia to cut it down to three points of health and then he had his own endurance doing three points of damage to everything on my side and healing him up. And then he attacks with his Zagart squad to finish off one of my Melden squads. But then the poison effect kicks in and Zagart squad dies. Nice. Alright, because he's got nothing in hand, I felt comfortable enough not stunning him this turn. 
and I put down a very high health defensive unit and it seemed to pan out. He was a little bit stuck on what to do with that. He didn't attack him too much. He just used Garrow to uh, finish off my last Melden squad. I don't know why he used Garrow for that instead of healing up. I think he was getting demoralized at this point. All right. And then finally, my uh, ninth turn, seventh turn, I dropped Rhea, the seducer, who reduces Garrow to zero oh, wow. attack points, and then he just gave up over there. So that was my win against a top ranked person. I just hope you found that interesting. I'm going to be making another video where I actually talk through this Mortarian deck in a lot more detail. So please remember to subscribe and you'll get notified when uh, that video gets uploaded in the very near future. Until then, bye guys.